Here's the new blue and gold suit, Wolverine. But to me, it has always looked blue and yellow. <laughs> Ooh, look, classic claws. But I think most of us would agree that we don't really like these Hasbro claws that they have been reusing for quite a while. Here's the back of the packaging with a short bio and the rest of the figures in the wave. Let's get the figure out. Here's the figure out of the packaging. The figure comes with two different heads, a pair of clawed hands, and a pair of fists. The fist has a sheathed claw and the silver part is sculpted. And we actually have two new head sculpts, not a reuse at all. First one with this neutral expression. And this one with the greeting teeth. Both of the head sculpts look good. They have decent sculpt on it with all the lines and contours on the face. And for the claws, it is still the typical claw that we get for Wolverine. I really wish Hasbro wouldn't use this anymore. I think the X-Force claws are better. Or maybe they could come up with an even better mold for the claws as well. For the figure, there is a few things to talk about. First off is that the Wolverine body mold has finally promoted to having pinless elbows and knee joints. So after more than 10 Wolverine figures, we finally have the pinless elbow and knee joints on the Wolverine body mold. <laughs> the second good thing about it is that unlike the Cyclops figure, which has the strap loose on the thigh and also the calf area, it keeps on dropping. They finally made it such that the straps stay in place by having a slight depression. Look at the bottom over here. The strap is actually in place and is not able to move because there is an indent to make it stay in place. Same goes for the thigh area. There you can see the blue on the inner side and that's because there is a slight circular indent to make the strap stay in place. And for the one at the wrist, it is sculpted. So that definitely won't move. <laughs> so moving forward, I hope Hasbro does the straps like this for any characters that has the strap so that it doesn't keep on dropping. Now for the appearance itself, it is pretty much right out of the comics with the blue and yellow paintwork. They call it the blue and gold theme, but it definitely looks blue and yellow. <laughs> the paintwork on the belt is really glossy. Other than that, there isn't much to say about the appearance other than that it is quite accurate to the comics. For articulation, it's pretty much the same as all the previous Wolverine body mold, able to look up this much and downwards. Not much tilting left and right. Arms go up this much. Bicep swivel. Double hinge elbow joint. Pinless as mentioned earlier. But I feel that the bend isn't really that much. The range of the butterfly joint is slightly different from the previous Wolverine body mold. For this one, the shoulder ball is able to move to the front this much. A bit difficult to make the shoulder ball meet the side of the body. And to the back, same thing. You can't really bring the shoulder ball meet the side of the body over here. Same goes for the other side. The previous Wolverine body mold is able to do that. See, the shoulder ball is able to touch this inner side of the torso. Same goes for the back. It can go all the way. This is the best I can do for the new retro Wolverine. But for the previous body mold, you can see the shoulder ball really can touch this part of the torso. So for the shoulder butterfly joint, there is a slight decrease in the range of movement. App crunch forward this much and to the back. Waist swivel. This amount of split. This amount of Van Damme split. This much to the front. Thigh swivel, double hinge knee joint, pinless, calf swivel, and the normal toe hinge and pivot. Almost the same articulation as the previous Wolverine body mold, just a slight difference in range for the shoulder butterfly joint as I shared earlier. Now Wolverine in this appearance has been done by early Hasbro. In this Wolverine and Forge 2 pack, which has quite a high value back then, mostly because of the Forge figure. 
but it has definitely dropped in value in recent years. That figure uses a slimmer body mold. I don't have the Wolverine figure anymore, but I do have this Forge figure which uses the same exact body mold, just a difference of the thigh over here. Wolverine on this body mold simply just doesn't look good because this body mold is just too slim. The shade of blue and yellow on these two figures are also different. On the old figure, it is lighter yellow and darker blue compared to the new Retro Wolverine. And if you're wondering whether the previous Forge figure can fit in with this new costume, you can see for yourself, no it does not. The blue over here is way darker and this yellow is almost to the tone of orange. I don't have the early Hasbro 2-pack Wolverine anymore but I do have an extra of this head. Between these two, the new one definitely has better head sculpt in my opinion but for the face sculpt, the old one isn't so bad actually. There is definitely more sculpted contours on the face of the older one like the slight frown over here and also at the cheek area. Unlike the newer one which kind of looks slightly cleaner but there are some scalp as well. You can see that at the chin and also slight one at the cheeks as well. And for the head scalp again, the face scalp on the older version to me doesn't really look that bad. It's quite decent but the hair on the new one is definitely better. And you can actually attach the previous head on this new body without any modification. The head looks kind of slightly small though but the figure still does look kind of decent. Here's the first Wolverine to be on this body mold and here's the cell shade Wolverine which is the last one to be on this same body mold. Moving forward, I think Hasbro will be using this new pinless Wolverine body. We have the recently announced Storm, Banshee and Gambit in this same appearance. I think most of us are definitely looking forward to those figures as well. Overall, I think this figure has a slight improvement over the previous body mold. Definitely because of the pinless joints. There is a slight decrease in the shoulder butterfly joint as I've shared but I don't think there is anything of major concern. I also like the fact that the straps are finally in place and does not move about. I'm definitely looking forward to forming up this blue and yellow costume X-Men team. Thanks for watching, do check out my video of my Wolverine collection over here.